to prepare the flip-flop sole, you're going to remove this top section. And you should be able to just pull them out like that. And if you can't, you can cut them off. So once you have your sole removed, you're going to have these holes underneath. And if that bothers you, you can fill this hole with bath and kitchen silicone. And you can see here it dries clear. To purchase the pattern for my white espadrilles, see the link below. You're going to fill the hole with the silicone. Dip your fingers in some water. And then you can smooth that in. Dab off the extra water. And so that's nice and smooth and it will dry clear. To attach the upper to the sole, I started here in the center front and I'm working my way around. Now you're going to want a good strong thread. This is a yarn that I cannot break with my fingers. So you just want to make sure you use a yarn that's not going to break easily or you'll have to repair them as they wear out. For this sew, I'm able to just press this through. So I'm just press it through and from the front I bring it out through the next stitch like that. And I just continue doing that all the way like this. And when you're getting low on thread and you're going to run out, just take a couple of stitches and then remove the needle and then just tuck that yarn in, in underneath and then just start a new yarn here and just continue on. Now if the soles are not soft enough that you can pass your needle through, take a nail and a hammer, just pound some holes about a half an inch apart all the way around the sole. And there's how the sole will look once you get it sewn onto your espadrilles or sandals. I've been wearing my white espadrilles all morning here in the house and I just can't tell you how comfortable they are. So anyway, if you make my sandal for my video, you'll then be able to attach them to a flip-flop sole and have gorgeous outdoor sandals.